Tell us about addressable TV, what it means to you, what it means in the UK and maybe more broadly in EMEA. Um, we talk about it largely in the US media around our country, but what's going on? What are the opportunities for your brands? Well, it, it's, it's a very, very, very exciting space. Um, and it gives uh, broadcasters an opportunity to go into a space of data and technology-led TV. Uh, and what we see across the board, it's early days in Europe, what we see across the board is that that in general put more money into TV. Put more money into TV because you have the top of the funnel, but all of a sudden broadcasting TV can now start going into the mid and the lower part of the funnel that they really weren't part of in the, in the, in the future. Um, in the past, sorry. Great example of that is AdSmart. AdSmart, uh, in the beginning, 70 to 80 percent of their advertisers came from non-traditional TV advertisers. Uh, they were able to reach people in Edinburgh uh, who wanted to sell a, B a BMW dealership who wanted to sell a BMW in Edinburgh. Uh, that puts completely new perspective on what you can do with TV. Great. So tell us a, the, the range of advertisers that you see coming into this and what the balance might be in terms of a budgeting five years out between addressable versus um, brand reach. I mean, I know it's hard to mix it's it all It's difficult together. to predict. The, the, um, I was asked at the conference, uh, will addressable be everything one day? And I said, let's define addressable and programmatic first. Addressability is reaching a certain audience on a big screen, where programmatic is doing that using technology and creating efficiencies around it. So you start with the addressability, and then one day everything becomes programmatic. I think that's very important to, to really see the difference there. Um, advertisers are in general very, very interested in engaging in the addressable TV space. But it is a new space. You are changing how you were thinking from the past, therefore it will take some time. But if you look across all clients, we think that 30 to 50% of all TV could eventually, that's not tomorrow, but could eventually be addressable TV. But you will see in that mix, you will have some clients uh, having 60% of their total mix in five, 10 years being addressable, and other clients being 20%. Car clients are a great example of where it's relevant. You have a, you have a SUV who are focused on women and housewives, etc., and moms. Well, you target them. You have a sports car that's focused on something else. You and what about the bespoke uh, or specific content? We heard that come up, the question of content or you know, specific advertising to reach specific people and how complex that is. Oh, we're quite far away from that. Uh, we, 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 uh, some people talked about addressable TV as in, in digital terms. Uh, addressable TV is reaching a household. Uh, in the household there are many different people. But the capability is of reaching an individual person within the household. That's not addressable TV for the next five years. Big challenge to the creative agencies too, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a, new, uh, it's a new way of thinking. Uh, but it's also a risk to creative agencies because all of a sudden there are more and more clients that will go on live on TV and they have smaller content budgets and they might use uh, other nimble partners that can do certain things. The creative world needs to be embracing that needs to be able to follow that you can reach that audience and serve a different piece of ad.